Welcome to this tutorial from Unispider on a recommended practice on free extension software using QGIS. We need to install a plugin called InnerSafe. To do so, open the plugin library and search for InnerSafe. Click on the Install Plugin button to install it. For using this recommended practice, we will add a web map service layer to a project. Click on Layer, then Add Layer and choose Add WMS, WMTS Connection. Create a new connection called Glofas and add the URL to the field. Choose the 100 year returning event and click on Add. We need to save the Glofas raster layer on our hard drive, so we use the function save raster layer as. Be sure to zoom in to the research area. Choose raw data and the format GeoTIFF. Select a directory on your hard drive. Choose a projection for the GeoTIFF, selecting a World Geodetic System 84 Pseudo Mercator with the EPSG code 3857. Click on Map Canvas Extend and set the resolution to 900 for this data product. Click on OK. Add the population layer to the project. Use the raster function clip raster by extent. Choose the option map canvas accent and click on run. Save the clip raster to your hard drive. Add the administrative areas from Ghana to your project. As you can see, it is necessary to define keywords for the different layers. We will start with the floods layer, selecting it on the left side and by clicking on the little magic wand. For this layer, please select Hazard, then Flood, and multiple events and it is returning. We work with band 1 and classified data. We will create generic classes showing the flood level. 
The lower the number, the higher the water level. 0 and 51 represent permanent water bodies, so we exclude these values. Sort the values as shown. Click on Save and define these classes for all the other layers you would like to analyze later on. This might be exposure layers containing buildings or roads. Add a data source and a title. and click on Finish. For the population layer, we repeat this process. We open the keyword creation wizard and select exposure, then population and band 1. We proceed with continuous and count. We finalize by putting the data source and title. As the population is composed differently in every country, we need to adapt the values to the population rates from Ghana. Click on Plugins, then in a Save and Options. Select the tab Demographic Defaults. Adapt the values as shown. Leave the other values on default. Finally, we set up the keywords for aggregation layer. Open the wizard and click on Aggregation, Name, Term, because this is the level of administration you want to cluster results on, and select Global Defaults, so the values we defined before will be considered. Add a source and a title, then click on Finish. Select the layers on the right and click on Run. After some minutes, you will receive the results. Have a look at it. By clicking on the print function, you can save the results to PDF reports. You can save the reports on your hard drive. Thanks for watching this tutorial.